Hello and welcome to the last episode in this uh, playthrough series of Little Big Adventure, which I've been doing. Um, last time we broke into Fun Frog's headquarters on Principal Island, and we stole his sword, and we were also told the plans to the teleportation center were taken by an architect. So we've uh, traveled over to Citadel Island, and yeah, we're going to talk to this architect now, which is our neighbor actually. So yeah, let's do that. Huh. Well, there's the neighbor, I suppose. Uh, there's... Actually, this is the neighbor, isn't it? I'm on special assignment for the good Dr. Funfrock. And I'm looking for the plans of the teleportation center. Exactly. Go ask my son. He has come home from work. Sorry about your health. The clones came with an attack tank, and they were looking for you. What? An attack tank? <laughs> okay, maybe we should check out our house real quick. Oh my god. Wow. Look at this. It's... It's destroyed. Huh. Well, uh... I'm on special assignment for the good Dr. Funfrock, and I'm looking for the plans of the teleportation center. Yeah. Come in, Fran! We'll look at them together, because they are rather complicated. I am totally your friend, yes. Let's see now. Where did I put my key? <whistles> Dad, do you have a key with you? All you have to do is ask. Hmm. There's a lesson here, I feel. All right. I've got to get into the teleportation center. Yeah. I was put in charge of verifying this building because it was built over ruins that are marked with a strange symbol. It seems that a madman is attacking different sites also marked with this same symbol. Hmm. All this extra work has really ruined my weekend. We're really worried about the teleportation center. Its weak point is situated on the left, right after the first guard post uh-huh okay well you can totally trust me with this information because i'm i'm totally not a madman attacking different sites that are marked with the symbol that's not me you will need my card to get into the center it is on the drawing table if you do succeed in catching this vandal with his weird horn <laughs> i would appreciate it if you would kick his rear end for me hmm okay I don't think it's official Fun Frog, pr oh, like... You now have the architect's pass. I don't think it's official procedure to hand out uh, ID cards like that, so... This guy does seem the weak link in this organization. <laughs> Let's rob his house while, while we're at it. Mm, nothing here. Okay, so what did we get? Miss uh, M. Oh, now it's M. Mies. I guess Mr. Mies. Mr. Mies from the uh, Mr. Mies from the Rose Pass. This pass will grant you access to the teleportation center. You will still have to use Golly's horn on the left after the first card post. Right. Okay. We could do that. We also have this sword now. Magic Saber. Once the Saber is in hand, enter key, alt key to strike. It is the most powerful weapon on this planet. You can use the Magic Ball again by reselecting it. Yeah. Right, because you can now switch between the sword or the ball. So we don't have to throw the ball anymore if we don't want to. 
Uh, let's see. So we can switch to the sword like this. And then, yeah. Wow. Look at us. Okay. This is cool. This is cool. Where do you want to go? Um, let's see. Now we have the pass. I guess we could should go back all the way to to Brundle Island on the northern hemisphere. On the Hamalai. And then use the pass to get into the center and disable the teleports, and that will allow us to um, get into the fortress on Fortress Island. That's the plan, anyway. So, once again back in the... Well, I want to say polar region, but this is not the polar region at all. This is the... Yeah, the central... It's a bit weird how there's a... This, this freezing area in the middle of the planet. You would expect a desert, but this planet, because it has the twin sun thing, it has actually had, has deserts on the on the poles. So, yeah, that's. Um, let's see. So yeah, it has a freezing equator, and and hot poles. The exact inverse of of a normal planet. <laughs> I don't actually know if, if Earth's setup is common or not. Okay, hmm. we're back here. Missing, missing this guy entirely. Oh, come on. There we go. So maybe we can try the sword now. Yeah. This is awesome. Try it on him too. All right. I don't know if this is actually better than than shooting from a distance, but I think I'm going to take a quick clover leaf. Can we go up here? Because if we can, yeah. We can get three more lives from this guy, the elf guy. Oh, come on. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. All right, now we can once again get onto the subway line. Once again, witness this stunning FMV cutscene, impressing everyone in the 90s with the stellar graphics. Oh, oh, damn. Uh, this is going wrong. Yeah. Okay, made it after all. Where do you want to go? To the Rabby Bunny Village.
Yeah. This is definitely a bit tedious. Traversing all these screens, knowing exactly where you do want to go. Ah, but now we can hop directly onto the Dinofly from here. Good day. Where do you have to go to? To Brundle Island. Yeah. It does sh kind of show the scope of this game. Um, because this game does feel pretty large. I don't know if it's actually... Like, compared to other action-adventure games, I don't know if this game is particularly large, but it does feel like it has a good scope. Someone, uh, because we're playing this with, with DOS Game Club uh, this month, someone on the DOS Game Club forum said it's uh, a little bit like a JRPG almost, in terms of scale and all the different worlds that you're exploring and visiting. I mean, yeah, obviously this game has its own unique style to it, but I can kind of see where they're, where they're coming from. Okay, so, hey, yeah, sneaky, sneaky box hidden there behind the tree. It's okay, so now if you go back to the guy. Let me see some identification, please. Yeah, and I'm going to show him the... Architect's pass. Oh, I can't from here, I think. I need to go all the way up close. Go ahead. Yes. All right. Now they just let us in. Isn't that fun? I mean... We were in, in Funfrock's headquarter before, but now... I mean, that was still on the Southern Hemisphere, but I feel the Northern Hemisphere is really the base of his operations, so... Now we're really getting close. Good day! It's weird, this sign that appeared. I pay it over regularly, but it comes back every time. Huh, you don't say. A symbol, huh? Yeah, you, you just walk off and I'll handle the symbol. I bet it's one of those Sendal symbols again, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Hmm, so now we are in the teleportation center. Let's be real careful. Okay, there's a clone up there. You can take him. Oh yeah, we have to sort now, don't we? Maybe we can just approach him. Oh yeah! This is a lot easier than fiddling with that ball. All right. There's a guard right beside the button. That's always a dangerous setup. But I think... I think we can probably get a shot in. There we go, perfect. Okay. A button? What does it do? A, f a floating tile. I guess they're supposed to be ropes, but... Uh, yeah. Flick the switch. Oh, actually... Come on. Yeah. Go already.
I'm not even sure what is down here, to be honest. There's a, there's a gate here to the left. So it would be nice if we were able to open that, I think. But we're not managing that through this. Actually, we do have a key. Did we get it from the... Um, from the red elephant, maybe? I don't remember. Hmm. There's a, there is a red clown up in the top right. You can hear him and also briefly see him doing his rounds. Oh, not like this. Yeah, there he is. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. Okay. Do you remember when we were back on, what was it? Proxima Island, I think. When we were first on Proxima Island, we entered uh, an elephant's house and he mentioned there was a package delivered to him that was not for him, like not intended for him. So he gave it to us. And it was this keypad. Keypad that controls a digital locking system. Once placed on the door inside the teleportation center, it allows access to a room filled with mecha penguins. So I'm pretty sure we can place it here on this panel there. Yeah, and it opens this room. And it is indeed a room filled with mecha penguins. Um, we already have a mecha penguin, but if we use it, we can now replenish it here really easily. So. Maybe we should just try using it. We did lose our key now because we went out of the scene. So I guess we should just attack this clone again. Yeah. He does hold the key. And the key does open this gate. And here's the red. The red clone is somewhere in here. Ah, and he's coming for us. Not very successfully so far. But I think if we just unleash the mecha penguin now. Yeah, he's gonna be totally focused on that mecha penguin instead of on us. So that's a pretty good tactic for taking out these these red clones I think it only works on red clones nothing else can we pick up the mecha penguin again no we can't hmm that's a shame I'm now wondering if it's worth to go back and get another. Maybe. I mean, there is a whole room full of them. I'm just a little bit afraid that the red clone will just respawn again. So what's the point then? You have a mecha penguin. Let's see. Let's see if it, that is indeed the case. Ah, no. No respawn this time. And the door is open. And the clone here is also gone. Yeah. Okay, so this was totally worth it. Okay. There's a big door. Not necessarily the way we want to go. 
Because the reason we are here is... Oh, a key. The reason we are here is to take out the, the teleports. Okay. Another red clone, so we can unleash the Mecha Penguin again. And I think the way now... Yeah, this is good. This is really good. So, I think what we want to do now is to just... Okay. Ah! Yeah! Taking out these teleports. That sound is, is slightly alarming, but I think we're okay. Okay, that's all the... That's all of them. Now there's just the one guy down there. Get out of here without breaking anything, and we'll take it into consideration. Uh, yeah, I don't trust him. I. What is he doing? Get out of here without. <laughs> no! Don't shoot at us! Oh no! 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 Okay. Maybe we should just use the ball again. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, look at that. Our ball is all bright bright white. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Um Ah, yes, that was what we were supposed to be doing. Because he clearly hinted at, at us having to break something. I mean, when they say don't break something, well, definitely break something. <laughs> okay, so... I think that's it. I think that's us uh, taking out the teleportation center. Not sure if we can go back now. No, we can't. Uh, that's probably because they sounded the alarm and closed off this room. But that's okay. Because we can just jump out through here. Which is not entirely clear by the looks of it. Although, sort of, maybe. I don't know. Right. So now we're back here. Can we just leave like this? Because that's how we came in. No, we can't. But that doesn't matter. We could just leave through the front door. I mean... We've just destroyed the facility. So... We can use the front door. Oh, actually, maybe we should get another Mecha Penguin. Now that we're here anyway. Those Mecha Penguins are great for dealing with Red Clones. Because they can be really problematic if you uh, once they once they start they once they lock onto you and and start firing then you have, you have very little chance. Penguin. But if you can distract them, then they're really not much of an issue at all. Okay. They have a lot of tape drives in this facility. Okay, so this is the main 
exit. Yeah. So can we just walk out as if nothing happened? I think we can. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Hello, don't mind me. Oh, the, the guy's actually gone. All right. Good day. Where do you want to go, Twin Pig? So now we can go back to Fortress Island. Fortress Island. Because the Rabbi Bunny there asked us to um, get rid of the teleports, which we just did. So, and he said he would be able to dig a tunnel, which would take us to the Runic Stone, I believe. And now we're really getting close to the end. So I think I'm just going to try to push on. Make this episode just a double, a double finale. <laughs> because I don't, I don't think it makes sense to stop now and Good carry bowling. on. The telepods are no longer working. Follow me. Uh, yeah, I don't think it makes sense to to start a new one at this point because we're Good we're day. so far in. <laughs> you have once again angered Funfrog. <laughs> he screamed a little while ago. <laughs> what did you break this time? You know that he hates you. You know that he hates you is a weird thing to say to someone I mean don't we hate him so good day we no longer fear the threat of the teleportations but you must get rid of the guards and the assault tank for us I will then be able to dig we no okay. longer fear the yeah you just you just said that okay so okay there's a guard up there That was doable. Oh. Shouldn't be too quick to judge. <laughs> Three lives. Nice. So... He did mention us an assault tank, though. So we should be on our toes. There we go. Oh. Perfect. Okay. What does the sign say? Dr. Funfrock's secret fortress. You shouldn't even be reading that. <laughs> yeah, we're right up there, aren't we? Oh, and there's the assault tank. Okay. Let's see if we can make this work. Okay, well, that was not, not a super effective tank. Uh, yeah, we're in. Ah, there's the guy. Just casually strolling down Fontrock's Fortress, as you do. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. You're gonna need it. All right. Um, this... Looks a lot like the Temple of Bu again, doesn't it? Uh, let's see how we can get safely onto the next level.
Okay. There's a massive hole in the floor. I'm sure that's nothing. Oh, it's something, all right. It's a... What is it? A giant... Ape? This is the biggest monster we've seen so far. All right. Up here, I suppose. Uh, okay. Um, that is... That is closed, but also there's a... What do you call this? A drain or something, yeah. That's good. Let's see what the sign says. Do not touch. Yeah, that's definitely a hint that we do want to touch it. So now we have a key for this gate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. So you can imagine this was supposed to be full of water, but we drained the water. And you were supposed to think that there was a shark in here. But yeah, we can now see <laughs> the truth, which is that it's just a... A little cart with a, a fin on top. So, yeah, that's that's pretty funny. Um, what's not so funny, however, is that there are some really dangerous enemies in this swimming pool. Yeah, you can hear them. They're red flying... Um, yeah. Flying clones, I suppose. I'm just trying not to be detected by them, but... If it doesn't work out, then I'll just try to go into attack mode and see if I can beat them. Oh, oh, they've totally locked onto me. Um, yeah, let's... Let's see if, if we can outrun them. Maybe we can. Maybe we can. These enemies are super dangerous, but... It seems we we're able to dodge them, so... Really lucky. They're mostly difficult because they fire at a really high rate. So once once they lock onto you, then it's hard. Hey, what's this? That's another guard. Oh, no. I want to use the ball. Let me use the ball. Because look, look at what he's guarding. Look at what he's guarding. Isn't that Zoe, our our wife? Our wife we've been looking for all this time since the very beginning when she was taken by two Grobo clones. And yeah, we've been looking for her since the beginning of the game. So this is huge. Oh, it was all a trap. I have you at last. 
I see that you appreciated the clone that I made of your friend. The original is safe. I suppose that you have come here to find the third runic stone. I already found it a long time ago, but it took some time to decipher it. And as soon as I knew the location of the Well of Sendal, I began the foraging work. Hmm. Not being able to destroy the stone, I built my fortress around it to dissimulate it. That reminds me, you supposedly destroyed two of my factories, but that is of little importance. I will soon possess such fantastic powers that I will need but an instant to clone or teleport the totality of the inhabitants of the planet. I also can make you relive the worst moments of your existence indefinitely. Goodbye. You will never realize the prophecy, because I will be the one who encountered Sendel, and I will inherit her powers! Man, he is intense, isn't he? I mean, he is, of course, a mighty dictator, so I guess that's what they're like. <laughs> but yeah, he's also really ugly. Damn. So yeah, this is it. This is Funfrock. We're sort of there. Although we're captured. And he says we will um, relive our worst memories indefinitely. So, that seems bad. <laughs> right. I guess this is what they mean by reliving our worst memories. <laughs> Because we're right back at the start. So, isn't that fun? Remember this scene? Uh, yeah, we have none of our stuff as well. We still do have our lives and our money and our health, so that's good. But other than that... Owen, oh, what's that in the next cell? That's like a clone of us. Hmm. Well, anyway. Can we jump out? No, we can't. No, we'll just have to wait. Just like in the opening of the game. Stop fidgeting, Prisoner Twinson. <laughs> That's fun, because at the start of the game he said stop squirming. So, it's, it's the same, but it's not exactly the same. Which is a hint that we're not actually back at the start. Oh, ah, uh, uh, that's really stupid. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll just have to wait for it to come back. Shouldn't have gone for the coin. I mean, we don't need one coin. It doesn't matter. Coins are not really a thing for us anymore. We've bought all we want to buy. But, oh well. Got greedy. This is what you get for being greedy. There it's there it is again. Now we've made it onto the platform. I kind of want to check out the clone, although I think if we do, there's no way out, is there? So I don't I don't think that's a good idea. Uh prisoner is escaping! Sound the alarm! <laughs> yeah, it's the exact same sequence, but the, the voices are slightly off. Just to mark that this is, in fact, not exactly the same as the opening. So, I guess we're captured by Funfrock and put into some kind of, I don't know, simulation. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> oh! Damn! Wow! Alright, so that was not my wife Zoe. That was something else entirely. Um, that grate is really tempting, isn't it? I mean... I kind of know that you shouldn't go down here, but I'll show you anyway. 
This is not the way forward. This is very much not the way forward. Let's quickly climb out of this. Oh, and now she's respawned as well. The, the Zoe clone. So yeah, that's not the way forward, but what is, is um, over here. This whole section is completely different you from how it was. We discovered all the objects in your inventory. Yeah. This is completely different from how it was in the opening. Okay. Perfect. All right. He can hear the clone, but where is he? He's up there, isn't he? Oh, it's not even a red one. More clones. Even more clones. Uh, this is dangerous. That let's deploy the mecha penguin now we can. There we go. Yeah, I think that was it. So Okay, that was a lot of enemies. We didn't really have to take them out, but because what we were actually going for was this symbol. It's gone now. It's a bit weird why it's gone. It was there before. Ah, it's appeared. So yeah, there's a symbol of Sendel right here in the corner. So if we blow our horn, it opens up as they do. And now we're at the third runic stone. I am the stone of the Septentrion. The well of Sendel is located at the summit of the rocky peak that is at the center of Polar Island. Only the air can break the seal that bars the entrance. Exactly. So this is a bit of a weird moment in the game. Because now it points you to Polar Island, which is over here. Uh, here. So, yeah, that's just, you know, that's that's where the end of the game is. Um, and it doesn't really tell you much else. And you're now stuck in this little room. And you can't really leave. So... Yeah, what's up with this? What do you do now? And you can't really interact with the stone either. I am the stone of the Septentrion. The well because it will just read out what it says, and that's all it does. So 
Yeah, I'm... I mean, I know what to do, but only really through trial and error. And I'm not sure if there's a point in the game where it tells you what to do. So, yeah, a bit of a weird moment. But what you actually have to do is take this flask of clear water that we took from the Clearwater Lake, where we uh, got the fourth level of magic in the Hamalai Mountains, and then pour that water on top of the runestone. So... This somehow does something, and I'm not sure why, but yeah, that's what you have to do. So let's do that right now. Actually, the... stand in front of the rune stone first. Yeah, there we go. I mean, it is pretty cool. And it turns the rune stone into some kind of bomb, I think. Yeah. Look at us. Look at this. This is looking good. <laughs> awesome. So yeah. This is maybe the vaguest part of the game to me. Because I just don't know when or where they give a hint to what you should be doing but oh well there's not a whole lot you can actually try because you're stuck in that little room so maybe it doesn't matter so much but I just always found it a bit weird uh yeah on to the final stretch of the game now isn't that exciting there's nothing here remaining of the facility so yeah Let's press on. Um, where we're going now is to Polar Island, which is... Well, we're, we're going over this little stretch here onto the center. And uh, Dr. Funfrock already mentioned this, that he's... Well, he's digging it out or something. Hey, what, what's this? Immediately... Oh, no, no, no. Can we attack it, maybe? No, this do this doesn't do anything. Uh, take some health. Oh. <sighs> okay. But yeah, there's some kind of construction going on here. Um, I think Dr. Funfrock is trying to dig his way to the. Uh, okay, this is. I'm I'm not I'm not doing this very well. <laughs> oh come on. Let me let me let me. Let me out. Okay. Maybe back to the ball. Okay. This is really weird how this works. Because now it's just letting me be. I don't know. I don't know about this. But anyway... Um, Dr. Funfrock is trying to dig his way to the well of Sendel. And that's why this final section is a construction yard. I'm kind of terrified of this little digger, but he seems to not mind us when we're standing here. Weirdly. Okay, now he's become a key, so I think if we now just... Yeah, okay. Okay, game. Onto the second screen of the construction area. The two islands is classified top secret. Uh, yeah. Oh, is he coming for us? Okay, maybe take the sword. <laughs> all right. Well, no, no need to be all aggressive. Don't. Never mind us. We're just standing here. 
Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Watch out. Oh, are we dead? Oh, I think we're dead. Oh, dear. So now we better watch out for this guy then, I suppose. Oh, and a whole new sound effect for walking through this pool of cement. <laughs> hmm, come on. We can do this. Ah. Uh. Oh no! Huh. All right. Oh, we weren't in athletic mode. Maybe that's why we're rotating so slowly. Okay. Hmm. Now what? Up here, maybe? Oh, not like that. Come on. Okay. is going on here oh that's nothing huh okay so that's the whole screen I think yeah that's the whole screen okay I guess we'll just carry on carry on to the next one We can do that. Okay. Uh. I guess this construction yard is pretty dangerous, but... We've got so many lives and, and magic power and weapons now that it's a lot more doable than a lot of the early sections in the game, I feel. Okay. Ah, yes. And then our way is blocked by these rocks here. So we need a way through the rocks. And... Let's see... doesn't really fit with the style of the rest of the game, does it, this section? It's it's all suddenly so... I don't know. The rest of the game has a sort of a magical feel to it, and then suddenly it's all a bit... Yeah, it just loses that sense of magic. Oh, come on. Like the whole game had this cartoony vibe to it. 
And that's sort of gone here, I feel. Okay. Um, I think we just need to press on. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure what to do, but... Just explore a little and see if we can find a way to clear out these rocks. Oh, there's a guy up on... Oh, actually, can we sneak down there? Oh, no, no, no. How are we doing in terms of health? Okay, we're doing okay. Maybe if he turns around, we can sneak up on him. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe just forget about it. And actually jump onto here. Yeah, now we can reach him, can't we? This is a lot better. This is a lot better. Okay. This looks like a friendly guy. Good day. Here, yeah, little guy. Take the ignition key and bring the bulldozer back for me. I'll appreciate it. I don't have time to do it myself. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so this is the key to a bulldozer. And, well... That's just perfect, isn't it? I mean... We need to clear out those rocks and... Uh, a bulldozer will definitely do it. Oh, come on. They don't seem particularly aggressive, these enemies. They don't really come up to me or anything. The ones that shoot are a little different. Oh, these guys in the top right are pretty dangerous as well, but... Can I hit them from here? Oh, yeah, I think I can. But the guys with the shuffles, they're pretty passive. They're just standing there. All right. So, where's that bulldozer? Where is that bulldozer? Ah, look at this. Is that the bulldozer? I bet it is. Perfect. Look at us sitting there. Yeah, I don't know. It, I, I feel it's a bit of an odd, a, an odd style for this game. I mean, in this magical world of elephants and, and magic balls and, and legends. Well, I guess we're really close to Funfrock now. So maybe the idea is that Funfrock is less cartoony and less magical. And he's more, yeah, like the real world, maybe? I don't know. It's also kind of bizarre that they introduced this whole new style so late into the game. I mean, the whole game had pretty a pretty coherent style, I feel, from the beginning. It was all... Yeah, all the different islands, they all looked sort of the same. Not exactly the same, but sort of the same vibe, same style to them. 
And then, of course, the polar region is a little bit different and, yeah, some specific areas like the desert, but I don't know. Because this, this is really um, late into the game. This is like, there are maybe two or three screens after this and then we're at the end. So it seems really late to introduce a whole new, yeah, a whole new s style like this with new enemies and everything. Ah, there we're going for the rocks. Makes me wonder if they had planned it like this. Like maybe they had planned more of this or earlier or... Yeah, it just seems a bit old, like it is now. Okay, what's the guy doing? Oh no no no! Don't 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 don't! Oh. Okay. Perfect. Nailed it. Okay. I don't think we want to be in front of those trucks because they'll just hit us. But we should be safe if we just follow them like this. Uh. Oh, another one of those things coming at us it's so weird and so random how they sometimes attack and sometimes don't what is he doing now he's just going in circles huh all right oops Okay, so the truck's coming back. Huh, all right. <laughs> okay, this is another one of those... Um, another one of those bulldozers coming for us for reasons we don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, don't be stuck. Twinson, don't be stuck. Okay. Uh, I think we can go up here, yeah. Okay, so that's good. Uh, how do we get past this, though? Just... Oh, no. Oh, and we're dead. That's too bad. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure what the strategy is for that. Just get lucky, I suppose. What's over here, by the way? I think the guys are loading stuff up on... They're doing the same dodging trick that the skeletons in the Temple of Bu are doing. It seems less effective for some reason now for them. So... Okay. So I suppose the goal is to get through this gate. Um, for which we no doubt need a key. Uh. 
football, right? Oh, come on. Okay, so there's the truck heading back. And... We can just jump on here. And now the question is, how do we get past this? And I generally don't know. Because we can't actually attack it, so that's not an option. And if we go near, it will just kill us. So I guess I guess it's just a matter of getting lucky, maybe? Or can we jump on from here? No, I don't think we can make that jump. There's no way. Oh, sure. So... Huh. Oh, come on. Don't be like this. Maybe if we wear our jetpack, will they notice us? Yeah, it's just coming for us as ever before. Makes no difference. So... Huh. Maybe if we just try... No. Oh, come on, stop, stop this. Okay. Well, I guess. <laughs> oh, and now this is... The truck is stuck on the hill. Huh. Oh, this section is the worst. This is easily the worst section of the game. Come on. Hmm, maybe we can use that that trick where we uh, cancel the animation. Oh, now we're in front of the truck. Oh, come on. <laughs> how, how has it gone this badly all of a sudden? Uh... Yeah, that's no good. I'm sure I've managed this before. I mean, it's possible. I just wish there was some way to... I don't know. Maybe we could sneak by. Maybe that's the trick. I, was some w I, w I wish there was some way to just attack the truck, but I don't think you can do that. Okay. I can't believe we get stuck on, on something like this. I mean, we just bla uh, blast through the teleportation center, no problem. And then, where do we get stuck? On this stupid... What is it? No, it comes straight, straight at us again. So... Yes! No, yes! King, come on! Do it! Yes! Yes! We've done it! He's done it! Okay, now... No mistakes now. Yes, and there's the key. Which, no doubt... 
opens the gate to the next section. Which might well be the final section, by the way. go yes coming through all right where are we now we're now in the very center of polar island so yeah we have taken a lot of lives though so uh, what's going on here hey uh, maybe like this? No, 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 don't drown, don't drown! Oh, no. Oh, please don't be game over. We're not game over, but we are probably on our last life now. <laughs> so, that was a bit tricky. Let's just run past... Oh, man. Okay. Okay, this has not gone as well as I had hoped. Oh man, I wonder where it respawns us. Okay. Back at the opening of the construction area, it seems. So let's head to our safe zone here. That's too bad. We really made it pretty far into it, but... Uh... Back to two lives? Let's try to not spend all our lives. Maybe try to actually gain a few lives if it's possible. What are you doing then? Maybe this construction area is more tricky than I thought. Although, actually, I think we can just run through here, can't we? Yeah. Mm hmm. Actually, hey, there are some boxes up here. They look promising. Let's see how we can get up there. Hmm. 
All right. A lot of lives. Or health, I should say. Yeah, this is not... This is not exactly what I was looking for. So, let's not try to get shot by that guy this time. Alright. I'm not sure if there are more lives here to be found, maybe, but just don't know. He's not telling me about the key now, which I wonder if that's because we didn't look at the rocks this time. Oh man. Oh, yeah, sure. No, 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 I didn't want to run all the way up close. Ah, there are lives. Okay, that's really helpful. Oh, and the way is already clear now. Okay. This is looking up now, all of a sudden. Because now we have a way to get lives. And we don't have to do this thing again. Where we have to clear the rocks. In fact, we don't have to do anything. Because this gate is also already open. Okay. This suddenly seems a lot more doable. I thought I had to do the whole section again, but I don't. So now I'm entering the final screen with full lives. That's a lot better, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can do this a little bit better. Maybe not run ahead. Where's the guy coming from? Ah, there's the guy. Bam. That's already massively better. So, now let's see if we can take out these guys one by one. Come on. 
Yes. There we go. This is a massive improvement over our last run. <laughs> Let's run up real close to this one as well. Maybe... Can't we jump up onto this little thingy? It looks like we can, but I don't know. God, oh, come on. Hmm. Weirdly worked once. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, we're not even going for the heart because we are at full health and we don't need it. So now that we cleared the um, the guys out, I think we can just climb onto here. It's not entirely obvious that that is a ladder, but. And now we've made it. This is this is Funfrock's tower, I suppose. This this is his house. <laughs> this is where he lives. You must break the seal so that I can enter the well of Sandro. None of my machines could drill through this rock. It resists me, just like the runic stone. I began digging around the rocky peak, but it will take months for me to reach the center of the planet. You see. I will realize the prophecy myself, and I'll take good care of this planet. Mm. Break the seal, and I'll spare you, Twinson. You and your friend. Yeah, I don't think we can really trust him, can we? Oh, and he's coming for us. So, yeah, this is just going to be the final battle. Oh, no, don't... This is a bit awkward, isn't it? Uh, I think we're doing all right, though. Oh no, we've fallen in. Oh, that's too bad. Huh. Okay, that's not the way to do it. Let's try again. There we go. Now we pushed him what? off. You took your time, my love. I'm not <laughs> you took your time. Robocons, but I promise that it's really me. Go find Sendel, and then we'll go home. Uh, yeah. You might be surprised when you discover the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll just have to get a new house. So, uh, yeah, this is it, I suppose. One more seal to be broken. The Well of Sendal. Uh... Yeah. There we go. What's this? Ah, it's our dream again. Our dream from the very beginning. The Hamalai Mountains. We now know these are.
and it's us riding our dino fly. Which you only have for a pretty short section of the game actually in hindsight. I mean, how, how often have we used it? Maybe, I don't know, like five times? This is still pretty weird. So in our dream we were already wearing the tunic and wearing the medallion. Well, the planet has not exploded. So I think we prevented that. Oh, this is like all the cutscenes we've seen so far, isn't it? This is our journey from uh, Citadel Island to Principal Island on the ferry. <laughs> With the nice weather. Yeah, this is a whole recap of everything we've been through so far. This is us exiting the Temple of Bu. Where we found the book. Um, getting us the second level of magic. Allowing us to talk to the animals and read the, the stones, as they say. The Sendal logo is right there. I guess we're gonna meet Sendal now. I mean... Oh yeah, this was us... Through the storm where we were picked up by the... What were their names again? I don't remember. And then, of course, the snowboarding. Because that's what you do after you pass out in the snow. You go from some snowboarding. The whole part with the, the Hamalay Mountains is a, it's a lot larger than I remembered it. I thought it was just a, a tiny section where you go through some snowy... Yeah, some snowy screens, but... There's a lot to it. This is our desert friend. Growing trees in the desert. Uh, flowers, I mean. <laughs> this is the, the Zoe clone. Or we thought we had made it, but of course not. Of course it, it doesn't come that easy. <laughs> I can't believe how ugly Fun Frog looks there. <laughs> this remains a mystery to me. But I'll take it. If it means destroying Fun Frog's empire, then I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, this happened a few times, didn't it? Getting caught, returning to a prison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Ah, oh, thanks, Zoe. Uh, yeah, let's head for the door. Oh! Oh my god, he's back. Look at that. Oh, was he shooting something at us? Damn. Come on. There you go. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, wow, he made a, a surprise visit. But yeah, he, he was not the worst enemy in the game. I mean, he's like the end boss, but he's he's okay, he's doable. I like that we're beating him with his own sword. That seems fun. <laughs> Look at Zoe, really happy with us. So, yeah, on to the end. How about that? Wow, we're in space. And those are the things from our dreams.
Oh no! Wow. I am Sendel. Like all of those you see here, we are all Sendels. We are here to watch over a stellar entity that is in gestation. It will come into existence in a few centuries. As we can only act from the heart of the planet, we implanted a lineage of elected creatures among the species living on the surface. You are the current descendant of this family. And when Funfrock's threat had become too great, it was me that called to you in your dream. The entity can now finish its gestation because you rid us of Funfrock. It would have died if he had gotten to it, and this world would have imploded. Thanks to you, it will continue to flourish. Return now to the surface. You can now erase the final traces that he left there. Awesome. So... Yeah, we actually met the goddess Sendel. And there are several Sendels. They, they mentioned everyone here is Sendel. This is really epic stuff. Love this music too, by the way. So yeah, I guess this is the end of the game. Turning the whole planet back to how it was supposed to be. Oh, there, there's the fairy. We're back on Citadel Island. Oh, there's a whole party for us. Look at this. He immediately goes for the drinks. <laughs> I love it when uh, when a game ends with a big feast and everyone's there, everyone's waving at us. Everyone's happy that we beat Dr. Funfrock and yeah, established a more peaceful world. Oh, actually, who's in charge now? Me? Maybe. Oh, what's this? Ah. Uh... They made that really quickly. Oh, there's a hovercraft on the beach. And and dino flies there too. Yeah, this is great. Even the old man is happy, although we also beat him up here, but oh well. <laughs> All our cool vehicles, the bike and the buggy, and the concert again, the, the, the big stage with the guy with the space guitar from the meteorite. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, that's the game by Frédéric Ranal. Who, as I mentioned in the first part, uh, first worked on um, Alone in the Dark, or pref like before this, which I think was, um, oh, Didier Chanfray did all the 3D animation and stuff. I think Didier Chanfray now is involved with... Um, What's it called? 21.2 or something? 2.21? I don't know. There's a new studio um, who who got the license to Little Big Adventure. And they're trying to reboot it, I believe. So, I think first the plan was to 
make a, a third game, but now I think they first want to reboot the, the original two games, make a more modern version. So I think that's what Didier Fra uh, Chanfray is working on now. Not sure what the other people are doing and if they are involved, maybe. But yeah, they made Alone in the Dark with, I think, most of these people over at uh, Infogrames, I believe. Um, it's kind of funny when you know that because there are some similarities between those games, even though the vibe is entirely different, but they're also early 3D uh, games with, you know, low poly models and static cameras. Although the camera angles in, in Alone, in the, Alone in the Dark are quite a lot more spicy than in this game. <laughs> oh, look at that guy. Philip Fashi really did a good, great job on the music, I feel. Yeah. This is a really great um, ending sequence for a DOS game. I mean, a lot of DOS games, they just maybe show you one page of text and then throw you out back onto the DOS prompt. So, you know, for a DOS game, this is a really solid credits and, and outro sequence. Even another cutscene. <laughs> ah, that's great. Yeah. All right. Well, that was the game. That was Little Big Adventure. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I did massively enjoy this game when I played it for the first time. I, I spent absolutely ages on it, exploring all the different areas and getting acquainted with how it all works. And yeah, I just have a soft spot for this game. So I also enjoyed playing through it now. I just... I don't know, gives me good feelings, so yeah. Um yeah. Maybe check out Dos Game Club if you if you're into this sort of stuff. And um yeah, maybe I'll do more playthroughs, I don't know, but I did like doing this one, so and I hope you enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed playing it, and that's all I've got now. So yeah, see you later, I suppose. Bye. <laughs>